cannot believe they're cutting today. That's got to be a 40 foot head. Cheese old peach. That's something else. <coughs> Whoops, see if I can sit here. my beans earlier, a little while ago, and they're soft. Sure ain't moving very fast though. We don't need those stinking beans. <laughs> Uh, 
this is kind of uh, It drowned it soft. <laughs> well, there's got to be 40 foot heads. I really can't believe they're cutting today because I know these can't be dry. No way. I guarantee you they're soft. What else? Like rubber. Yeah, it's up to them. They know what they're doing, I don't. <laughs> so. <laughs> Takes all kinds, I guess, but. I guess when you got this many acres to go, you just go. Don't worry about it, just go. Yeah, you know, they'll have this field cutting them at probably two hours, if that. There's uh, 75, I think there's 75 acres in this tillable. So, it, they won't be in here very long. Take an 80 foot of swath. <laughs> I can't even get the dumb things to haul. Even the littlest one is gummy. They got to be 18, 19 percent. Really can't believe they're running them. But we'll see you next time, guys. I'll give an update. Be back in a minute. Hi, right, guys. It's just a few minutes after four, and they've got in the last hour pretty much of this field wiped out. Uh, I really can't believe they're cutting today. Those beans are, they got to be 18, 19% at least. Uh, I don't quite see the logic in it, but there and again, I'm not paying their bills. So we'll uh, take a look at the field when they get done a little later on. I'm curious to see what I see. So we'll be back here in a bit, guys. Okay, guys, it's, uh, I'll tell you in just a moment, 6.20. They've been out of here for a couple hours now. Uh, you can see they left lots of beans in the center of the combine. Shove them over. Yeah, let's go out here.
I really don't know how they got them to haul. Tell you the truth. These were. Uh, you can tell how wet it was. Of course, that's from the grain cart. I think. No, that might be the combine. I'm not sure. Two. Can't get the same thing at the hall. It's tough. You know, when they're that big and that wet. We just had rain Monday and Tuesday, and I know they didn't dry out that quick. You know, Sure, can't be any sickle shatter as wet as these are, but they shoved them over cutting. You can see they're green. I really honestly don't know how they got them to show. I know a rotary is supposed to be a good machine, but you know, when they're And you're leaving beans that are literally like that. And them are butter beans. Yeah. I really can't believe they even tried to cut these today. Unless they're trying to make a blend. Let's see. I'm trying to tell. Well, for sure, no. One of them was over here. Yeah. You don't think him wasn't green. You see, the stalks are green as a as they can be. Oh uh, yeah. Just as green as they can be. You know, they're big, they're wet. You can't even, they don't even crack, they just mush. Uh, I really... Can't see... I <laughs> just mashed that one. This stuff is incredibly wet.
And they strung a lot of beans out. It's not staying right behind the combine, but it's slinging them out to the sides. For sure. This stuff is just, it's green and wet. If you bailed that, you'd burn the barn down. I really can't understand why you would do this. Um, I'll look on farm logs and see how much rain we've got here this week. And today's Thursday, but shoot, it's rained Sunday night, Monday, all day, all day, good bit of Tuesday. Uh, this morning we had a heavy frost, uh, a freeze, and like I say, you can see how green you know, these stalks are. Now that's the way this whole field was. It just wasn't a little spot. That's green. That's just as green as could be. And these beans, I'm telling you, they're not really hauling. You gotta tear it apart to get the bean out of it. But you can see how big they are. You know they're full of moisture. You know, they just mash in your mouth. There's no crack to it. They're just mash. This is the kind of stuff I don't understand. Uh, I'll be back here in a moment. Alright guys. I said I was going to check farmlogs.com for the rain amounts. It says Tuesday the 24th. We got 5 or 0. 0.52 inches of rain. Wednesday we got... 0.13 inches of rain and today's the 26th and they kept beans next door to us there at the farm I don't know how they got them through the combine uh, that's basically three quarters of an inch of rain well not quite three quarters two thirds of an inch that's a lot of rain and I don't know how they actually I really don't know how they cut those beans I really don't um, it's kind of a joke uh, you know I'm looking at this field right here uh, you know, that's, I mean, whoops, right next door, so, uh, let me go back to this map, okay, this is the field they were cutting in, this is our ground. Uh, this is basically almost a mile across. So, there's 75 acres tillable in that field, and they were in and out of there in a couple of hours, and they were done. But to have 0.65 inches of rain in the last two days and come in there today and cut beans I really don't know what they were thinking you know um, I had some dust going and it was up to about 62 or 63 degrees today but that's taking an awful chance uh, I will be interested to see if anything 
starts coming up because them beans everything I could find was wet really soft beans every one I you know put in my mouth it didn't it didn't crack it just mashed so I have no idea why they would cut beans that literally that wet you know but then again it's not my place it's not my crops they can do whatever they want but that just kind of defies logic to me but anyway guys that's where i'm going to end it so we'll see you next time and as always please comment rate and subscribe uh this has been a, a strange day i'll tell you that so we'll see you next time guys